ladies and gentlemen, the day has finally come that everyone has been requesting. You guys demolish the like button, you all subscribe, like, and oh, we're gonna see it. We're gonna see that collection update binder of Sword and Shield. We wanna know what it looks like. Is it a good looking binder? Well, guys, it's, it, it's a decent looking binder, but it could always do with a couple of updates. So I've got my final two Sword and Shield booster packs, all right? These are the last two I could pretty much track down. So after these two, let's do a binder update. And then we'll have to go find more boosters if this episode hits 3,000 likes. Because I want to get out an episode every time these videos hit 3,000 thumbs up. Um, but yeah, we got two booster packs. Let's hope, seeing as they're fresh out of a box, these bad boys have something inside. You know, the I think the best outcome... Oh, it's a white and green. Okay, the best outcome would be a Celebi V card. Because... It's the first card in the entire set, and it would just make the binder look so good. Having number one slot, boom, it's a Celebi V. I've got it. That's all what all the fans are keen to see. So let's keep the party going. Got an air balloon, blip bug, got a Rhyhorn as well, and then we've got a Goldeen, Roselia, Goldeen reverse, and then Victini V card! I thought for a minute it was gonna be Celebi. Alright, Victini, that's really good. We have already pulled it, so it is a double up. But we do have one more boost pack left. So we'll put that in the old double up slash like trade bind area. We're gonna Snorlax V... V Max card actually, not a V card. Get you to the side. It's a solid green. There's the code card. Let's go forth from the back, swing it around. What do we got here? Hopefully a regular rare I don't have to make the bind look a little bit better. Galvantula. Silicobra. Minchino as well. Vulpix. Muna. Got a Roselia. Yampa. Alright, let's do a binder update. Let's get this party started. Oh my goodness me, guys. I cannot believe that I'm finally doing this. I'm finally showing off my Sword and Shield binder. This bad boy is something I've been working on for what feels like months, but it's only been about two weeks. But everything in here is what I managed to complete of the set before the set actually officially comes out on Friday, which I think is a pretty big deal. I've never been this, like, concentrated on completing something before, so I wanted to show this off, see what you guys reckon, see what you'd add, take away, um, and just, yeah, it's really interesting to see the amount of progress we actually made before the set actually came out. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, that right there is meant to be the Celebi. How, like, sad is that? I, that's what I keep saying, that's the card I really want to get, um, and it's obviously just because it would fill in the first slot of the entire set. So this is all laid out, this is card number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, goes all the way to 202 plus the secret rares. Um, and then we've got good old blip bug, Rillaboom, Hollow up there. Then as I always mention, there's two of the starters, so Hollow Rillaboom, regular rare Rillaboom. Um, two Thwackies, Grookies as well, uh, missing one card right there. But as you can see, the set's really coming together. Victini V, Torco V. A lot of these were like really clutched by yesterday's booster box opening as well. See, as I'm talking about, three separate Cinder Races. And as you guys will see as well, um, in the theme decks coming up at the end of today's video, there's like another Cinder Race we can add to that collection as well, but like three of the same Pokemon. So we've got Krabby, Kingler. So it's really cool because obviously as traditional sets, it goes in types. So this right here is the water section, massive. Inteleon, we're gonna have another one to add after we open the theme decks as well, but a couple of blank slots, but I still think this is pretty good. Like three blank slots out of a whole water section. Lapras V right there. Wait till you see my doubles. I've got a stack of those in uh, Lapras V full arts. But look, Tapacoco V card, it was necessary. We had to pull the worst card in the whole thing just to fill in the blank spot in the binder. Now, this is really interesting. We got more Pico V regular, more Pico regular rare, and then we've got more Pico V Max in the full art form. It looks so sick. I don't know if you, can, you can't really get the full amazement of a V Max in a binder, but honestly, the feeling when you pull it and when you see that in person, it looks really, really nice. So, more Pico V Max full art right there. Then we start with the Galarian Ponida and Rapidash. So, we're missing two from the psychic page there. Then it goes into the big old fighting type. So Rhyperior Holo right there. Muna, we got Wobbuffet too. Classic Wobbuffet. Um, and then look, we've actually completed the whole page here. This is really... <laughs> Do you guys get excited over these bind updates? Do you like them as much as me? I feel like I'm... I don't know, I get more excited than most people. Um, 
<laughs> Buns is something I've always done. So we've got a Reggie Rock V anyway. That's pretty sick. Stone Jonah V. Then again, you get the full up V Max version, which is pretty nice. And then on the top as well, Santa Conda Hollow, I probably should point out. Um, that Mud Bray was actually a last minute slot in as well. We didn't actually pull too many of those early on. Then as we go here, we've got a couple of dark type Pokemon. So we've got the Krogunk, the Sableye V up the top, Toxicroak as the Hollow. Then it goes into the Metal type, so Galarian Perserker. Obviously, we got that one in a uh, promo form as well. I'll show you at the back. Only missing two cards. So look, look at this. Complete. And that is gorgeous. Snorlax V, Snorlax V Max, Zamazenta V, and Zacian V. Then Copperaja Hollow up the top as well. I am stoked. Look at this though. Two Wooloos and a Dub Wall. You get two of the same Pokemon again. It's pretty funny. Anyway, nice looking page there. I feel like once you've done that one, you get a real sense of how the Sword and Shield set's gonna look, especially with this section here. It's pretty funny that how that uh, works there, but we got Cramorant V at the top. Bunch of trainers, you guys seen this before. Hollow Marnie, Crushing Hammer. These are pretty common. I found that was the first thing I completed was the trainer section. Professor's Research Hollow. Um, then we start to get into the crazy stuff. So down here we've got the Full Art Lapras V card. I'll show you my doubles, I got them at the back. Then we've got Wabafet Full Art V there, Sableye V, Zamazenta V, looking so dark and menacing, I love him. Then we've got Full Art Marnie, more Pico, Full Glitter V Max, and Snorlax Full Glitter V Max. We are missing a ridiculous amount of these uh, secret rares and the regular Full Arts, but that's to be expected. You're only going to pull a certain amount per box, and with the set not being out, we haven't unboxed a ridiculous amount yet. So, I was pretty happy. The fact we managed to complete this much, but then I know what you're thinking, Ando. Where's that juicy looking gold card? Hold on to your marbles, Jessica, because we've got Ordinary Rod and Zamazenta V. But yeah, that kind of looks a bit lonely and sad. I feel like we're going to wait a bit more till that fills up, but we've got two gold cards there. And obviously that page will fill up over time, I'm sure, as we open up a couple more boxes. They've got a really, really awesome surprise for you guys when the set comes out on Friday. But until then, we'll fill up the rest of the binder, no worries. At the back, you've got to put your promos somewhere. We've got a really good amount. Like, I feel like... If I put the Japanese ones in here, we'd fill this up completely. Like, we got a lot of Japanese Sword and Shield promos, but the English ones look really nice here. A lot of these are out of those pre-release kits. We've got the Blister promos, the Meowth box, obviously. Then my doubles. This is what we end up doubling up on. Victini V, Zacian V, Wobbuffet, two Lapras, a Zacian again, and a Zamazenta. I'm not complaining. They're sick doubles to have. Then the uh, energies at the back, and that pretty much wraps up a Sword and Shield binder. What did you guys think? Are you proud of me? Do you think that came together really well? And how many more boxes do you think until we complete the entire set? Do you want to search for the completed Sword and Shield set? Maybe we should do that. That would be bananas. Anyway, anyway, um, I also wanted to show off two binders because you guys do not stop leaving me comments and like tweeting me. Ando, what about those binders you showed off in the collection video? So today, we're going to put our Sword and Shield binder to the side. Hopefully enjoyed that but I also wanted to show off my Snorlax and Pikachu binder. Alrighty, so we're gonna start right here with my Pikachu binder. So this is the binder when I first started collecting full art cards to put into a binder. I noticed that when a full art was put next to each other, the amount of like color that just popped down to your face and the amount of like, wow, what is that? Was unreal. So I was like, what if I just made binders dedicated to full art cards? I didn't know whether I wanted to PSA grade, that I didn't know what to do with. So hence how these binders came together, but I've only got two um, and they take a lot of work to complete. So keep in mind, this is like years of work, um, but I wanted to show them off because I think this is pretty cool. Like we got Zekrom, Reshiram, double of each of those. My Tapus as well. Like Lunala and Solgaleo, Japanese, not even the English version, Ultra Rares right there. Absolutely, I love gold cards, so. Hence why you're gonna see a lot of gold cards in these videos, because I just sort of buy them and love them. Um, yeah, more gold cards, Tapalele, full silver Dialgas as well. And this is where I started getting into the rainbow rares. It's like, okay, let's start putting a few rainbow rares together. And rainbow rares just work really nice together as well. So more rainbow rares here. This is nuts. Ho Ho looks really nice. Japanese Hidden Fates, something that you guys probably forgotten about. It's still one of my favorite sets ever. You also notice how a lot of these like rainbow rares have different variants of how the swish swash of the rainbows put. This is nuts. So I also notice when you put gold and cigarette trainers together, it pops like gnarly. It's ridiculous. Got a random energy there too. They've all cigarettes. They got that nice full light texture. 
Then we've got the Mother Duck. This looks awesome. So Battle Festa cards, my screen promos. Um, you got Train of Red, you gotta put that there. Cosplay Pikachus, Ken Sugimori Full Arts, Team Skull Cosplay, Red's Challenge again, more Secret Rares. Yeah, as I said, these aren't stuff I, you know, I probably could get a PSA grade and it's worth more, but it's just a sentimental binder that means so much to me. Dude, I can't, I don't, I don't have any words for this. This was a point in Unlisted Leaf where we were going crazy over generations and it was around that era where I love my secret rares. Like if I got one of those, it's the best thing ever. And keep in mind too, I didn't pull every single card. Like I pulled a majority of these, but I'd say 20% actually sent in by fans that like, Andrew, I know you love that card, put this in your binder. So shout out if you sent one of these cards in. Yeah, it's fully in my binder, like well protected. Got my Megas. Megas are another card. If you have, put them together, they look nice. Celebi, dude, awesome card. Thunderous, the goat, hopefully coming to Pokemon Go soon. Oh, more Thunderous up there. Yeah, as I said, Megas work well together. Umbreon, um, Articuno as well. Looks pretty cool. More Megas, Denny, tag teams. So there are a lot of few blank spots here. I mean, it goes up and down like full art generation, like literally all generations. None of that really belongs to each other. A lot of EXs though. Cause this is the EX sort of era this whole binder was put together. Which one is your favorite though? If you had to pick a page, we like, dude, that's the one, which one is it? Um, sweet cones looking so good. I'd be so interested if, every, if anyone in the comments could tell like each set this all came from, like where it's all made up from. It is a ridiculous amount. I don't know if you guys collected all throughout all these sets, like boom, Japanese exclusive full-eye detective Pikachu, Giovanni's promo at the uh, Team Rocket case. It is, it's nuts. <laughs> like Skylar, that's such a popular card now. A lot of these cards come out, no one likes them right, but they slowly go off value. So this is why you hold on to your uh, binders. Blacksmith, that's a cool looking card. Another Skylar, Misty at the top there. Koga's Trap, uh, Marshadow, Alteria, Blastoise Pimpler, Blastoise by itself, Sylveon, Reshiram single, looks very cool. Belongs with that Charizard actually. Um, Lysan, do you remember these? Like, I remember having searched for the different cards and we found them in booster boxes. Skylar, and then on the last page, Japanese Cynthia, that's worth a ton. But yeah, that's my first one, my Pikachu binder. That bad boy took a while, but trust me, this Snorlax, it's just as good. So yeah, to finish off this ridiculous collection video, I'll go over this one kind of fast. This one's got a lot more modern cards, you know, like the Reshram and Charizards and still yet to send in. It could be a Gem Mint 10, you, you never know, but I think just having it, you know, having just one in a binder, PSA is great and all, but there's something that just rings home to me, like collecting in a binder, it's what I used to do as a kid. And if I had this as a kid, I would just die. So I had to do it, you know? I kind of love it. Uh, Latios, Heatran, like Dragonite. I can list them all. They're all fantastic. So we're going to cover like leftover Megas. The reason why it's so mixed in and mixed together, either because I sorted it out late or a fan sent an old one in recently, and that's why it's ended up in here. Golden uh, Secret Rares, as you can see, got a blank spot. I think this binder's still got a couple blank pages, so I'm still building it, and then I'll buy another binder, but nevertheless, really cool. You guys will, uh, <laughs> yeah, freak out the amount of Articunos and Zapdoses I have. A couple of the newer, you know, like Armored Mewtwo, Slapper, um, you know, newer Soul Galley Lunalas, Umbreon EXs, Mewtwo EXs, more Secret Rares again, like those two. Soul Galio, like that one, you forget about these cards. Japanese version of Cosmic Eclipse, put with the uh, English too. Because you can compare, you can see like, oh, these ones have white borders, which look nice. Then you've got the yellow borders, which everyone hated. So we've got Mewtwo. That one's like, you know, they all slowly go up in value. Oh, dude. Uh, hidden Fades is a whole separate can of worms. These are my Hidden Fades doubles. If you want another updated Hidden Fades binder tour, that thing is crazy. It's growing, but we got a lot of cards PSA graded, so it's got a few holes in it. These are like out of tins or boxes, you know? All full art cards aren't necessarily like ultra hard to get. You're just gonna get the right items that have it inside. These are sick. Primal cards, very underrated in my opinion. Um, I think I see a page you guys will love this one. Rainbow Rares, uh, Buzzwall, like, yeah, Keldeo, Flygon, the gold cards again. But keep in mind these are just promos. Again, it's not like what I pulled. <laughs> 
it's not insane to get. You're just gonna, I guess, spend a lot of money. Uh, Moltres, Ho Ho as well at the top. Jolteon, Gardevoir, Requazes again. Mimikyu with that pink. Yo, okay. This is gonna speak for itself. Tag Team Charizards. Clone Charizard promo. This was recommended by a friend. He's like, dude, hold on to those like clone Charizards. I reckon they're gonna be worth something. So I'm like, okay, full page. Um, same with the armored promo Mewtwo. I don't care if they didn't go up in value, like still a really cool page. This is a very underrated page, my full art secret rare uh, energy cards. They came out of all stars. No one cares about these, like, if I talk to anyone that collects English, no one will care about these. The minute a Japanese collector talks to me about them, he's like, oh, dude, they're sick. They're the coolest things ever. Uh, what do you guys think of those? Mega Gyarados, EX, Blacephalon, the Venusaur and Snivy, Cramorant from the Japanese. Yo, Hidden Fates again. So many dulls, gee whiz. D Danny, Rainbow Ray, Incineroar, Turdinator, Ho Ho. I'll give Hidden Fates this, like these full arts look insane. Zygarde GX, Lycanroc, Valley, Lucario, Noivern, Drampa, Gardevoir and Alteria. So I'm starting a new gold section right here. Tapu Koko, Finny, Lele, and some nice trainers. You know, that's like a 50 bucks, that's a $50 card. Trainers are very, you can't look past them. You get a trainer, cherish it. If it's playable, it's gonna be worth a bit of money. So yeah, and it sort of ends with a couple of uh, old school basic trainers. And that's my work in progress Snorlax one. What'd you guys think? I really hope you enjoyed it. More like on my personal collecting side. So if you guys want more of these videos, let me know in the comments if you like them. But I did promise, let's look at those theme decks to end the video. That is right, fellas. At the end of today's video, I did promise I would open up all three of the brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield theme decks. Now, usually I don't always unbox a Pokemon themed deck just because they're always very similar from like set to set, but this is a Pokemon Sword and Shield base set launch. It's the brand new era. I wanted to see if they've changed anything, if these look any different. I mean, from front on view, they look pretty much how a normal themed deck would look, but let's crack it open. Let's see what's going on. I did a quick Google before this. I'm like, what Pokemon is the most popular starter? This is gonna blow your mind. It's not the Grookey Gang. It's not School Bunny Squad. Sobble, apparently, is the most popular starter out of any of the three, which is insane. So I guess we'll start with this one. We got Inteleon's theme deck right here. It's pretty cool that the first ever, like, base set, Sword and Shield theme decks have the first ever starters on the front. So we got all the basic, like, water, fire, grass, got the barcode as well, which is pretty cool. It's stock standard, it's like everything I'd be expecting from a theme deck. Let's rip this open, and uh, let's see if anything on the inside have changed too much. I mean the, even the, what is it? The hollow promo looks roughly the same. It's just a shattered glass background. Oh, look at that. Let's just focus that bad boy up right there. But this right here is the Shattered Glass Inteleon promo. And look, uh, 59 out of 202. So that's going to go perfectly uh, in the Blank Space Now binder as well, which is amazing. I didn't realize that. It's not a uh, promo. That's epic. Okay. So we got the uh, Shattered Glass Inteleon. Might be one of the reasons why you want to go get it. Then we're going to code card. Someone cash that in and let me know in the comments what you get. Then you get the Inteleon deck box. Oh, okay. This is a bit of a game changer. This is pretty sick. That's a really nice design. Now, what do we get inside of here? I've got a feeling it might be a bunch of trainers and energies, but we'll have a look. So a lot of water types. Oh no, it's a lot of water types, isn't it? We've got a Krabby as well. More water type energy. We've got a Hop Trainer. Nice. We could have the whole evolution line in here as well, but I think that's probably... Shooter as well, Mantine, a lot of water type Pokemon. Sobble, yeah, we got the whole evolution line. Um, Dreadnought, that's pretty good, but that's probably our rarest card. There's always like a regular rare in the middle of these theme decks. Kingler, Switch, you guys gotta let me know in the comments. What do you like the most about like when you buy a theme deck? Is it the Pokemon cards? Is it the uh, card at the front because you know you're guaranteed that card? Cramorant, that's another good one, and it's a regular rare. And I think we're just gonna double up a whole bunch now. We've got a Chew Tool. Professor's Research, that's a good card as well. I'm gonna go really fast over these, I apologize. If you want a slower look, definitely like pause the video. Krabby, Pokekid as well. Pokegear 3.0, and Man Time. But looks like, yeah, we're doubling up. So yeah, you got a nice like deck here that you could burst people with, 100%. I think that's what the theme decks are at the end of the day. Grammarant again. 
You gotta get around the cram ramps, but then what else do we get here? What is this? What you can do during your turn. Oh, it's a little booklet and like what to do. That's crazy that it comes in a little baggie. Am I missing anything in here? It'd be so funny if there's a uh, secret promo. Oh, that's cool. So like a really nice, you know, you could probably give these out to people. Uh, instruction leaflet? Interesting. That comes in the same like baggie a promo in the old days would. Then we've got this pamphlet right here, which I'll open in a second. Then we're- Oh, wow, they're reflective. Golden damage counters right here. Orange, and then like a light- Oh, crimson red. That's pretty cool. 100 uh, damage right there. Then we've got our booklet, which I'll read in a second. And the playmat. This is like the main attraction. All right, let's- uh, Oh, and the coin as well. Sobble! Yes, that's amazing! Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's have a look at what the playmat looks like and the booklets as well. Let's do an episode of reading with Ando. So basically, all the theme decks come with these quick start rules, which is a really cool book, just explaining exactly how the TCG works, like if you want to get in competitive battle, how it all goes down. I think this is really cool, like it's quite a nice little book as well, so you can put that one to the side. But a really handy hint that's like on top of that is each of the theme decks come with this, and this is, I think, new. Maybe they've done it recently and I haven't opened up the theme deck, but this says like Inteleon theme deck at the top. Then these are the main Pokemon that we saw in the Pokemon cards, and it lets you know that this is a sneaky and stealthy deck. How cool is that? You get like information on what sort of deck you're playing by buying this deck, then on the back as well, all of the checklists. So like, this just explains to me, we got a lot of cards to still go and hunt, this is ridiculous. It's not even counting the secret rares, but put that to the side. This right here is none other than the Inteleon playmat. What do you guys think? He kind of looks like Michael Jackson, like hee <laughs> hee! Just uh, pointing to the side there, but really, really nice. Like, water is splashing everywhere. Pretty cool Inteleon theme deck. Alrighty, there you go, guys. There's the Inteleon one. Now you've got to decide, maybe Cinderace is going to take the cake. Now, I'm going to go pretty fast over the Cinderace. You guys um, should get the gist of a theme deck by now. It's all very similar. But you've got to make the decision on your part, like which one are you going to buy? Now let's not damage the promo too bad. Oh snap, that looks good, look at that! I love the shattered glass design of the background, it looks fantastic with these epic Pokemon. And the attacks aren't bad either, like 160 for Bright Flame and Flame Cloak for 40 as well. So I'll put Cinderace at the back, we'll do a recap of those three. Then you get a code card. Then we get this epic deck box. Oh, the artwork on the deck boxes are fantastic. Then we're gonna have a whole bunch of repeats as well. So we've got the, a lot of fire type energies. Dub wall, heck yeah. Does that mean we're gonna Wooloo in here? We're gonna switch and there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it might be Cinderace because you know what? Any deck that has a Wooloo is a good deck. That's the motto everyone should be living by. Drampa as well, Sudowoodo, Raboot. Uh, a lot of fire type energies. I mean, that does sum up your mixtape. Rabu again, Score Bunny, Pokey Kid. So the trainers. Okay. So it looks like the trainers are about the same. It's literally um, the Pokemon. So we've got Ninetales, Volpix as well. Yeah, these are pretty good. Wooloo. I think this takes the cake. Okay. At the moment, Cinderace is my favorite. But keep in mind, I love Score Bunny. That's my favorite starter. That's really- you know what? I did not picture that the crowd favorite at the moment is Sobble. How weird is that? I would have said Grookey because everyone always hashtag like Grookey Gang in the comments and all that. Dub Wall and Poke Kid. Alright, these are all pretty much repeats. Vulpix, uh, Wooloo again, Score Bunny, Cinderace at the end. I love that. Okay, regular Cinderace, not the Shattered Glass. Then we get that little leaflet in the weird like baggy style. Um, then another brochure, the same damage counters, the same book, again, the quick start rules, but, as usual, oh my god, that's a winner! Look how good that is, Score Bunny's never looked better! Absolute rave cave Score Bunny, but let's have a look at the playmat. So here is none other than the Cinderace playmat, this thing looks nuts, like there is all flames and bits coming off the fireball that he's kicking into the sun, uh, or he's coming out of the galaxy sun right there. It's crazy, but a really, really solid design for a playmat. This thing is a contender. And ladies and gentlemen, the final theme deck, it's none other than a Rillaboom. Alright guys, let's see if the old Grookey gang can, uh, I don't know, hold up throughout this whole opening. Anyone absolutely love Rillaboom? I know actually a couple of people that do, and I, that's why I would have thought. 
Rillaboom might be my favorite right here, but maybe I'm wrong. Look at that. That is a nice promo. Beating Drum has 180 damage. That's ridiculous. Then you get your code card as well. Look at this. Another... Oh, man. They have nailed these deck boxes. I love them. I'll keep them aside. Oh, here we go. See, this is why it's tough. Unlisted Leaf Energies. We're going to have a stack of those. Let me get those out to the side. Then we've got a Cottony as well. Interesting choice of Pokemon here, guys. Great ball. Whimsicott. Got a switch for the trainer. Poke Kid once again. Glossifer. Elder Gloss. Uh, Professor's Research. Hop as well. So the trainers, you're going to get a lot of repeats. But Thwacky, Grookey. It's really going to... Oh, man. A lot of these are like good unlisted leaf Pokemon. And you get a bunch of unlisted leaves as well. So what do I like better? Rillaboom or... Oh, gosh. Cinderace, Rillaboom, Inteleon. I reckon it might still be leaning towards Cinderace. We'll see. Ordinary Rod, we've got a Switch as well. Got a Snorlax. That's pretty good. Cottony as well. I'm gonna say a Snorlax in there really changed things up. The Wacky too. It's a good Pokemon. Grookey, Whimsicott. Elder Gloss again. We've got a Snorlax and gonna end with a Glossifer and a Rillaboom regular rare. Alright. I'm still think, I still think. Cinderace holds up, but that's up to you guys. Okay, so then we get the same thing. Looks like it's all going to be very similar. Rillaboom, which we can fold out in a second. Then we get our shiny as damage counters. Our quick start guide right there with the rules. And our last looking awesome playmat. So this right here is none other than the Rillaboom theme decks uh, playmat. And dude, I don't know about you guys, Rillaboom looks crazy. In this photo, he just looks like an absolute madman. He could steal your Tic Tacs. But a really epic looking playmat. This one's really nice. Alrighty guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. It was a bit random, like we did a binder update of all my Pokemon cards, which hopefully you really enjoyed. I've spent so long making that, like it took forever to put together. So a like on the video always helps out. And that shows that you guys want another episode of Search the Gold as well. But the Pokemon company, oh wow, I forgot to send, uh, show this off. Look at that, isn't that adorable? Grookey's coin, oh man. But yeah, the Pokemon company did send us three theme decks, so I thought, you know what, let's have a look. Has anything changed because I started a new era? I had to say it, doesn't look like too much has changed, but a good amount. Where you're like, you know what, we're starting the Sword and Shield world. So, my final question for today's video, which theme deck would you buy? You got the Rillaboom, you got the Cinderace as well, which I think is my personal favourite, and then you got Inteleon as well. Leave a comment, demolish the like button, let me know what you think of the Sword and Shield sets at the moment. Are you excited for the official launch on Friday? I am so pumped up. Hopefully you get Golden Zassy in soon. Fill in the blank spots in the binder. Have a fantastic day, but most of all, gonna keep on gaming. Alright guys, next time, I'll see you then.